So today I want to share with you how to do project management and manage a team as well as delegate tasks. If you have an agency, maybe you do digital marketing or you have a virtual assistant agency and you have other team members that you have to delegate work to. So one of the tools that I use to do project management for my business is Notion. Notion is a great tool. It makes it really easy to manage people, to assign tasks, to manage your due dates, and also to communicate with clients. You can invite your clients to your Notion board, which I'm going to show you today in this little tutorial. And Notion has a library of free templates. If you are running a digital marketing agency or a virtual assistant agency, you typically have to manage multiple clients at the same time and multiple projects. So today I'm going to show you how to do that within one dashboard. All right. So when you first open up Notion, you're gonna go over to the left-hand side all the way at the bottom, and you wanna click on where it says templates. So click there. And it's gonna open up different templates that you can use for various tasks in your business. I'm gonna choose the template that's called projects and tasks. So you're gonna come here, and this one allows you to have different projects on the same screen. So you wanna go click on get template. All right, so now you have this template that's been added to your account. So now you can start customizing it. So let me quickly go over some of the different areas that you need to know about. Here, they give you some sample projects. They have about three sample projects. So the project name is gonna be up here at the top. You're gonna to see this arrow. And so if you click on it, you can actually start seeing the subtasks. So each project will have multiple tasks that you can add. So let's say this is one client, right? Maybe you're doing a website design project or you're managing their social media. So what I typically would do for, the, for this level, the first level, is I would rename it to the client. And for here, I'm just gonna say client name and then just click away. And that's like the client right here. This is just an example. Um, here is another one. You, I'm gonna name this client number two, just so we can use it as an example, right? And I'm actually, let me just go back and put client number one. Okay, so, you have client number one and client number two. You can also rename this to whatever you want. So this is this client and maybe there's like five different tasks that I have to do. So here is an example of a subtask. And I'm gonna just say, um, create, I'm gonna make up a, a make-believe task to show you. So we're gonna say create the wireframe for our website. Just make-believe we're doing website design. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go and open this up. And this is going to have the specific tasks that I want my team to work on. And so you can actually come here and write a description of, let's just say, this is to create the initial wireframe and the layout design of the website. And then, okay, let's say that's the description of this specific task. And you wanna definitely put more detail uh, whenever I'm working with a team, I try to put as much detail as possible. So this could be examples. You can also upload documents. You can upload screenshots. You can upload a lot of different things here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the AI and I'm going to have it update that. Okay. So it's going to give a quick little description of that specific task. And then I'm going to choose, um, you can choose people, whoever you want to be on this specific project. And then you want to do the status. So you can have different types of statuses, not started, in progress, done, archived. So Notion gives you some pre-built-in status, status updates, but you can change it. And I'm going to choose in progress. And then you can put the due date. So whatever due date you need this to be done on, click on that. And then the priority. So how important is this task to get done? Like what does it have to get done by? Is it low, medium, high? I like to set priorities with my team so that they know what to work on first, second, and third. You can also add some um, tags here. So maybe you're doing like a website design, you wanna tag it there. Maybe you're doing social media. You can also add it here. You literally can just add the, the tags at right there. It'll start adding it. Maybe this is part of a social media management campaign. I'm literally just making this up. Don't take any of this literally. <laughs> So this is, this is how you would tag, right? The other thing you could do is you can add a property. So you can decide to add different things that you want to track for specific projects. So if you wanna add the dependencies, like other tasks that have to get done 
in addition, you know, before this task can get done, you have to do something else and you're waiting on something, you can actually put a dependency there. So I'll put that there. And I like how it puts this in as far as this task is dependent on another task. So what it's gonna give you is something called block by. This is like what we use in project management. That means that there's another task that has to get done before this one can get done. So you can go ahead and decide which of the other tasks that you have in this board are blocking this task. So go ahead, I'm just gonna choose like a, a sample one, okay? So it's gonna add this one. All right, so now we have some tasks. We have two tasks here. You can keep as adding other things like um, design the logo. I'm just doing this so you can see. And you're gonna see that this client has three different tasks that have to get done. And you can see the progress, the due dates are here, the priority, the summary of what it's about. You can also add on different um, elements of the tasks uh, within this specific view. So if you wanna have a quick screenshot or just a high level view of what's going on, you can add different columns from, from the specific task. So another thing you can do is you can look at this from a, from a board view. And you, this has different swim lanes and these are the, diff, the different types of statuses. So instead of looking at it, at it as a kind of like a grid view, you can actually take each task and group it according to the status. So let's say, you know, right now you have it, you have a bunch of tasks that you that are in the queue, you haven't started it. Once someone on your team decides to start working on a task, you can drag it over to the in progress column here. And then once they're actually done, they can go ahead and drag it over to the done column, right? That's how you would basically manage the status and the progress of every single work item that you have for your team. And if you're managing a team, you want to have like weekly meetings. I know some people don't like to have meetings, but meetings really help people stay accountable. And I'm sharing this with you as a project manager. I used to work in corporate as a project manager, so <laughs> I'm actually sharing things we do typically. Or if, you, if, you were, if you're in a job now, you know how you have to have meetings. You can just have one meeting per week just to make sure people are moving towards the due date. So you can look at it from here. So if you're trying to grow a done-for-you agency, you really want to make sure that you hire the right types of people. When you do hire, maybe you hire a virtual assistant or a web designer or a graphic designer, you want to assign people tasks and keep track of those tasks in the Notion tool. So Notion is really easy to use. It's very intuitive and it's just a really clean, simple UI. So I like using it for that specific reason. If you want to try Notion, there is a link below this video. You can give it a try. Tell me what you think and let me know in the comments what other videos would you like me to make about project management or managing your done for you services or just managing your business in general. Let me know in the comments and also make sure you subscribe. I'll see you later.